，三、二、一，点火！起飞。It only took around eight minutes for the Long March 5B rocket to lift off the Mengtian Lab module into orbit on October the 31st, 2022. But the rocket's chief designer Li Dong has been waiting for this moment for over 20 years. This is the launch pad that the Long March 5B rocket used to lift off. The Long March 5B rocket has played a key role in building China's space station, as it has carried the Tianhe core module. And two lab modules into space, but why use this rocket? How was it developed, and what will be its future missions? Today, I got a chance to have an exclusive interview with Li Dong, the chief designer of the Long March 5B rocket, and asked all about that. How do you evaluate the launch mission of this Long March 5B rocket? What's different about this rocket? Compared with the ones that carry Tianhe core module and Wengtian lab module, 每一发都有每一发的圆满，但是这一发是最精彩。This launch was the most successful one because the entire mission went smoothly, including the launch preparation stage. The rocket and the entire development team are becoming more and more mature, and more technical difficulties are solved. For example, we improved our pre-launch plan on the basis of the previous launches, so we have a better understanding of this rocket. Compared with the previous Long March 5B rocket, this fourth rocket has very few adjustments. Basically, there are two key points in the aerospace sector. First, if there is a problem, we must find the reason and fix it. Second, we must maintain the technology stable to a certain extent and cannot change it all the time. Therefore, a balance must be struck between inheritance and development. It is necessary to ensure reliability and eliminate all hidden dangers. What major challenges did you and your team encounter during the launch of this Mengtian Lab module? There were still twists and turns during this launch mission because there were three typhoons in total that could affect the entire mission. A rocket launch is generally not safe during thunder, especially when the rocket lifts off. If it is struck by lightning, the voltage is huge. And the rocket cannot bear it. Rockets also don't like wind because it affects their flight. Before ignition, rain also affects the rocket, especially these ice rockets that are filled with ultra low temperature. Especially these ice rockets that are filled with ultra low temperature propellant will freeze after rain. So meteorological consultation before each rocket launch is very important. We are very happy to see that the meteorological department of Wenchang spacecraft launch site has done a great job. Their forecast of local weather has been very accurate in all key stages, including rocket transportation and launch. Their work supported this launch mission. Long March 5B is a variant of Long March 5 rocket. One of the biggest differences is that the Long March 5B has a longer fairing, about 20.5 meters, currently the longest fairing in China. It also has one less core stage compared with the Long March 5, but larger payload capacity. Long March 5B can launch big spacecraft weighing over 23 tons into the low Earth orbit. While the Long March 5 is mainly used for launching deep space probes and sending satellites into high Earth orbit. What do you think is the significance of the successful launch of the Mengtian Lab module? The Long March 5B rockets have done a great job in launching Tianhe module and the Wentian and the Mengtian Lab modules. They all enter their orbit accurately. So the Long March 5B rocket has completed its first phase missions. This means a lot for our entire team, who have gained valuable experience. We will also use this rocket to launch the China Space Station Telescope, more important spacecraft like large-scale, high-orbit satellites, and Earth observation satellites will be carried by Long March 5B rocket. Long March 5B has a larger payload capacity, so more missions are awaiting it in the coming years. We will continue our missions after this one. So you have mainly focused on rocket research so far, and you have devoted over 20 years of your life on Long March 5. So what is your greatest achievement? 
I'm personally very proud to engage in this industry. So from a career perspective, it is very fulfilling, because in this industry, you are working with a group of talents every day. They are the most dedicated, selfless, and technical colleagues. You can see we have many colleagues with PhD, master's, and bachelor's degrees, and our excellent frontline workers are all skillful. Everyone is knowledgeable and has technical expertise. We can learn from each other. If you work and spend every day with these excellent people, you will also improve yourself as time goes by. The maiden launch of the Long March 5 rocket was on November the 3rd, 2016. But the launch window was delayed three times because of some unexpected technical problems. After over two hours, the rocket was successfully launched. But one year later, the second Lamach 5 rocket didn't make it. I think everyone would agree that developing and launching rockets is no easy task. What lessons did you learn from the failure mission of Long March 5 in 2017? The second Long March 5 carrier rocket was originally intended to verify its reliability, but there was an accident during the launch process. After the rocket booster was separated, it flew for 346 seconds. The first stage engine suddenly plummeted, and the insufficient speed of the rocket didn't take it to the orbit, and the mission failed. Although our team quickly found the problems with hydrogen-oxygen engine, it was very difficult to find the exact reason. Then we made improvements, but other new hidden dangers were also discovered later. We have learned a lot from this process. It took our whole team 908 days from failure to success. We have endured enormous pressure. We must try our best to reduce the risks in this process, but sometimes it may be necessary to pay the price. You can't see the rainbow if you don't experience some wind and rain. Of course, in terms of this project, we still feel a lot of pressure and guilt. After all, every penny of rocket development comes from taxpayers' money, and every day's delay in the space plan means that the whole project is affected. So after all that pressure, the final success is the best reward for the entire team. So China's long March rockets have been launched for over 400 times. What is the secret behind it? One reason is that each team, including our entire R&D team, has done a lot for the development of the project, such as technical research, experiments, as well as data interpretation. Any hidden danger must be prevented. Another key reason is that we have formed a systematic management. The whole China aerospace industry has made a summary of quality management methods and innovative concepts over the past decades. We now have a complete set of management methods to ensure product quality. The last reason is, if any model has a problem, after the faulty mechanism is identified, all models must make corresponding improvements in the same mechanism. In this way, if a certain model fails, there will be some loss, but all other rockets will benefit from it, which is a good thing for the entire system. This process has helped us build a very solid rocket launch experience. This process has helped us build a very solid rocket launch experience. Um, what's the average age of your rocket development team? Is there anything you can share about their training? The average age of the research and development team used to be 35, and the average age of the maiden launch team was 31.5 years old. Now the average age is still very young. The Long March 5 project has trained many talents. The chief designers and deputy chief designers of several of our models are from this team. We now have members born after the 1990s. The post-80s have already taken on important responsibilities and are growing very fast. So the greatest quality of our team is that they are not afraid of difficulties or enduring hardships and have a strong ability to withstand pressure. The more important the task is, the more united and capable everyone is of overcoming difficulties and gaining victory. It is the same as the spirit of the long march. So I think the older generation of space scientists are very far-sighted. The Chinese rocket is named the Long March, which echoes the development of a rocket. From the very beginning to the final stage and from every launch, you must have a firm belief and aim at a goal. Keep working hard and not give in to difficulties. Without such energy, you can't make a rocket. 
China has once again proposed to speed up the construction of a strong aerospace industry. As a rocket designer and expert, how do you think you can help to achieve this goal? So, the launch vehicle is the whole aerospace technology, so it's even more than the aerospace technology. The launch vehicle is the foundation of the entire aerospace industry. To reach that goal, we need more powerful rockets. There are many indicators to evaluate the capability of a rocket, but the main one is the carrying capacity. Only a rocket can send the payload into orbit, and it's only then that the satellite or spacecraft can be used. The second factor is reliability, because the payload is very valuable, and organizing a rocket launch is never easy. A failed launch will have a great impact. So reliability. Reliability is a key requirement because after the rocket is ignited, it's not maintainable. So you can't expand space exploration with strong and powerful rockets. Bigger carrier rockets will ensure larger payload. The Long March 5 is called a large rocket. A heavy rocket is at least four to five times larger than a Long March 5. Its low orbit carrying capacity must be more than 100 tons. So China aims to develop such heavy rocket to carry out the manned moon landing mission. But there are other large-scale applications. China's heavy lift rocket, the Long March 9, and the next generation manned rockets will play a very crucial role in boosting China's aerospace industry. More powerful rockets will ensure more deep space exploration. We collected different questions from our global space fans and followers so here are three different questions in three envelopes. Mm. So can you please pick one and mm. answer the question? Okay, okay. Um. What are the odds of China using Long March 5B for moon and deep space missions? It is likely it's a beast of the machinery. Yes, it's a, that's a, from a question from our global uh -huh. space fans. A very good question. Okay. Both China's Chang'e 5 lunar sampling return probe and the Tianwen-1 Mars probe were launched by Long March 5 rockets, but not by Long March 5B, because it's developed for the low Earth orbit. China's future lunar exploration and deep space exploration will be carried out by the Long March 5 rocket. Actually, the Long March 5 rocket family has six different variants that we have already designed in our initial planning. The Long March 5 series rockets will play a bigger role in China's space exploration.